What's up, sport fans? This is Shea Adifarati reporting for duty. Now, this is your Premier League preview. I'll be giving you guys my thoughts, analysis, and prediction for the weekend game. Now, our first game will be Newcastle versus Aston Villa, which will be played by 9 p.m. Nigerian time. Now, Newcastle has been poor at home. The last time they met Aston Villa won 2 new. Now, I believe this match Aston Villa can win because Newcastle has been really poor at home. Since last year, December, the volume won twice at home. So now, I believe Newcastle, I believe Aston Villa can win this match away. Now, my prediction will be 2-1 to Aston Villa. Our next game will be on Saturday, 1.30 p.m. Leeds United versus Chelsea. Now, Leeds, City, Leeds United are sitting currently 11th on the table, while Chelsea is 4th. Now, Tuchi will want to win this match because he knows West Ham are coming, from, are coming at the back with one game in hand and two points behind West Ham. And also Everton. You can't rule them out. I believe this is a must win match for Chelsea. Every match is a must win match for Chelsea because once they lose, they are going back out of the top four. Now, I believe Chelsea will win this match 2 1. I believe this city have the player, Bafford, to, to cut Chelsea. But I believe Chelsea can win this match. Now, my prediction will be 2 1 to Chelsea. Our next game for Saturday. Will be Crystal Palace versus West Brom by 4 p.m. Now the last time they met, Crystal Palace won away 5-1. Now West Brom has been really, really poor form, sitting 17 points. Why Crystal Palace are sitting 13 points? Now I believe Crystal Palace can easily win this match, even though. Crystal Palace are not really good at home, but West Brom either aren't good away because since December they've only won one away game last year, December. Now, I believe Crystal Palace can win this match, so my prediction will be 2 new to Crystal Palace. I think they have enough to win this. I don't see West Brom getting any result out of this match because of their poor away form. Our next game will be Everton versus Burnley um, by 6.30 p.m. Now, the last time Burnley won Everton away was in 2017. Now, I think this match, Everton can win this match because they will look to bounce back from the poor results against Chelsea. I feel this match, Everton can beat Burnley because the last five games for Burnley, they drawn four and lost one. Now I feel this match will be a must. I I, I don't I feel if ever Burnley are going to get anything out of this match, it's going to be a draw. But I feel this match, Everton can win, and I feel it's going to be a lot of goals. Now I will, my prediction will be three one to ever Everton. Yes. The last game for Saturday will be Fulham versus Manchester City. Will be played 9 p.m. Now, after an impressive win against club side, can Fulham get a win over Man City? I don't see that happening. I see. I, I feel this match will even be be easy win for Manchester City. I don't see Fulham winning this match. Manchester City lost against Manchester United but bounce back with a win against Southampton. Now I feel this match Man City will win this match today new. I just don't see any quality that can uh, that can counter Manchester United Manchester City. I feel this match is a Manchester City win. Three new 
Now our next game will be on Super Sunday, 1 p.m. Southampton battles Brighton. Now Southampton has been really really poor, very very poor this year. For this year, they've only won one home game, and that was against Liverpool, one new at home. And um, Brighton on the other way. Their away game have been also really poor since December last year. They've only won twice, and I think that was against the the away game against Liverpool and Leeds City, Leeds United. Yes, so I don't see any winning in this match. I don't see anybody winning this match. Southampton last ten games, they've only won one, and they've lost nine, and they've drawn one. So I don't. Few Southampton can even win this match. I feel this match will end in a draw, in a one-one draw, or a new new draw. I feel this match will end in a draw. Now our next game will be by three p.m. Leicester City versus Sheffield United. Now when I analyze my game, I check the away team. How are they doing away? Now, Sheffield United have been poor. They are sitting 18. They have been really, really poor. They played 13 away game. They've lost 11. They've drawn 1. And they've won 1. And guess what? That one win was against Manchester United. But I don't feel any, any win can come towards Sheffield United way. I feel this match is a lesser city win. Sheffield United can score first, but I don't I, I, I don't just see this match. I feel this match will be a comeback, a 2-1 win for Leicester City. I just don't feel Sheffield United can win this match. Looking at their poor away form. No. No, 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 no. I don't feel but you don't know Premier League flows for surprises. You can surprise me. You can shock me. That is why it is interesting. Now moving to the biggest game of the week, Arsenal versus Tottenham. Now this match, Aleta will be looking to win this this game, and William has been on fire form, assisting in all four of their last games, four games. But can they stop? Can Arsenal defense stop Harry Kane? Can they stop Son? Can they stop Bill or Lucas? Now I feel. I feel sports have enough to win this game. I just don't feel I don't, don't see Tottenham losing this game. I don't see Tottenham losing this game. I'll go for a Tottenham 2 1 win. I feel Hurricane will disturb Arsenal despite Arsenal also having their own force of attack. But I feel sports can get the win. Now, our final game for Sunday will be Manchester United versus West Ham. Now, West Ham this year has been on fine form. They've only lost twice and drawn once. They've lost again. The loss was against Manchester City and Liverpool. And they've drawn one and they won the rest. Now, this match, I feel Manchester United they have the player to win this match. But can can they stop West Ham attack? West Ham, I feel West Ham will have a goal or two in this match. But I feel Manchester United will win. Looking looking, looking at Fernandez in starting lineup, I'm like, okay, Manchester United will win this match. Fernandez is starting, Manchester United will win. Remove Fernandez from that match and they will lose. Like, they, 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 they will draw. They, they will be a little, little draw. So I feel Manchester United will win this match 3-2. I feel going, there's going to be a lot of goals in this match, but I feel my United will come out on top. I just feel. I feel. Our last game will be on Monday night. Wolves versus Liverpool. Now, despite Liverpool poor home form, Liverpool will want to win this match. Or let me say, it's a must win for Liverpool. Because if Aston Villa can win Newcastle this Friday, then 
Manchester, Liverpool will be eight. They will be sitting eight. They will, they will move from seven to eight. So this match is a must win for Liverpool. I feel Liverpool can win this match. This is not an home game for them. It's an away game. So they have a chance to win. <laughs> I feel they can win this match now. I feel this match will be two one to Liverpool. Liverpool will win this match. So thank you guys. Thank you very very much for watching. Please let me know your prediction. On the comment below please like please subscribe please share thank you very very much for watching it's here for signing out don't forget to subscribe thank you